Welcome back to Atomic Bytes, and in this episode we are finishing up our user interface timer objects, and we need to check our build settings. So you need to make sure both of your scenes for your game are active, or click this opens, add open scenes. The other thing we need to check is our publishing settings and make sure this gzip is set to disabled otherwise it'll throw an error on github when you publish it so once you've got these two things done um, we'll go ahead and close out of this we'll go back to our build settings and we're ready to build it just have to choose a location in which you want to send the build files. So I'm going to go to my desktop. I've created a folder um, on my desktop already. And it is called Unity UI Timer Project. I'm going to title this Unity UI Timer Project. And it's going to get saved inside of that folder on my desktop. This may take a while for it to publish, but once it does, um, we will upload the files here. So let's go ahead and create a new repository on your GitHub account. And I'm just calling mine Unity UI Timer Project. And then you can add whatever description you'd like to to describe your project here in the description box if you would like to. It is an optional uh, field. Then you're going to add a README, and for the Git more, we want to type in Unity. And select the Unity Git more. And we're ready to go ahead and create our repository. And once your repository is created, we're ready to go ahead and upload your published files from Unity once your files are finished with the build. So while you're waiting for it to finish building, go ahead and name the change commit and describe it. And then we'll drag and drop our files onto the field above when they're done publishing. And here our files are done publishing. The window's popped up, so I'm just going to click on the folder I created and drag the contents of that folder out and wait for them all to upload to our new repository that we created. And make sure that they're all uploaded and is completed. And then go ahead and commit your changes and create the uh, repository there. Commit those changes, now it looks like we're all set. So now we need to go over to our settings and we need to go down to pages and make sure that your branch is on the main branch and root and then go ahead and save that. You may need to wait a second for this and refresh your page after a few minutes. Eventually, um, once your page is live, you should get a link on this page that you published from with a button to visit the site. And if all goes well, you have a live published Unity project on your GitHub repository using GitHub Pages. So you can see the timer here is working. Our boxes are spinning in level one. And then as we collect our boxes here, you can see our message is popping up and displaying how many boxes we've collected. Once we collect the fourth box, It'll change to level two. And there's our change to level two. And in level two, we just have stationary boxes. They're not spinning. Thanks for watching this episode. Hope it helps you. And join us again soon.